Today, there will be a very important video as you will receive a lot of interesting information and theories. And everyone probably saw the new scene that Boom added to the full version of episode 70. And I want to say that I noticed several crazy details in this scene that no one noticed. And also Elite Cameraman and I will try to find out what actually happened in part 3 of episode 70. And we will talk about the secret agent and his assistants and also about Plunger Man. And about the events that await us in the future episode and when it comes out. Hello friends, you're on the <laughs> channel. Subscribe to the channel and press the like button under the video to speed up the release of the next video. And let's go. Episode 70 was the most legendary of all, and it seems we saw a lot of events in a secret agent, but everything became even more confusing. So far we know that Astro Toilets are the main threat, but we don't know what the secret agent is up to. And we also don't know where did Skibidi Toilets get agent technology and also TV men books. And besides these, there are a million more questions, but today we will try to figure it all out and welcome our guest, Elite Cameraman. Hello everyone, Elite Cameraman here. Initially, when we saw the secret agent at the table, we noticed that on his table there are heads of all races in the series, and also on the left we saw a computer and there are several options why it is there. But we have long suspected that it is possible that computer men will be new race, what do you think about it? I personally don't think it necessarily is a clue about a new race, since the computer is still a monitor just like the TV race, but I do think that we might see another race later in the series, because Boom will most likely want to add some new stuff. And here I agree with you. Although I have said many times that perhaps we will see computer men, but actually it's just a computer and we already have a race of TV men. And it's unlikely that Boom will add a similar race to the series. But it always seems strange to me that he focused our attention on computers, and in part 2 of episode 70 we also saw a computer on the table, and in episode 68 Boom took control of the plunger cameraman so that he looked down and there we saw a green light and also computers. But perhaps we are too clingy to the details, because these computers could be part of the map which Boom used and he didn't add them, since they were originally there. And perhaps the new race will not be computer men, but I'm sure that there will definitely be a new race because it will add interest to the series. But let's go back to the most tragic moment in the episode when Plunger Cameraman died, and many argue about his death, and in fact there is a chance that we could see him again. But what do you think about it, Elite? I really don't think Plunger Cameraman is alive at all if that were the case. It would make the stakes feel lower, unlike where it's been set. He already lived one crazy fight where he almost died in episode 57, but this time, I don't think there is a way he lives, because the secret agent personally made sure he died in my opinion. Even if he does somehow make it out alive, he probably will not have any memories left because from what I understand, the secret agent doesn't want anyone knowing about what he was doing. And at first glance, all this makes sense. Plungerman did his job, but since he knew too much, the secret agent had to kill him. And throughout the entire series, we have not lost a single special agent or titan. And perhaps this time has come and Plungerman is no longer come back. But still, I would like him to come back, and now I will show you a few details that give us a chance that we can see him again. First of all, the secret agent said that Plungerman did not survive this battle, although he could said different words like, we will have to say goodbye or you will not survive this war. But he said that you did not survive this battle, but the war is not over yet, and the secret agent could use him for his own purposes. And perhaps the secret agent will return the Plungerman but make him his assistant as he did with the lucky cameraman and the twins. And another important detail is that at the end we saw the inscription camera offline. Although in episode 60 we saw how the cameramen were destroyed and there was no such inscription, and the recording was simply interrupted. We also saw a strange floppy disk that the secret agent received. And I already said earlier that perhaps it contains Plungerman's memory in which he knew a lot about the secret agent. And there is a chance that the secret agent did not kill Plungerman but turned it off. And this indicates the inscription camera offline. And if you take this floppy disk from a secret agent, then perhaps the cameraman scientists could restore our hero and probably the agents hired this detective so that he would find out more about the secret agent. And probably the words, this is the end for someone indicated the death of another character and not the plunger man. It could be a dark assassin or a skibidi scientist. But in any case, these are just my crazy theories. And the chance that Plungerman is alive is about 5% because as Elite said, he has already resurrected after episode 57. And if he resurrects again, it won't be interesting. But I will hope. Also write what you think about this and what is the chance that Plungerman is alive and we move on. But at this point we have the most questions for the secret agent. He was hiding for the whole series. And suddenly now that the Astro Toilets appeared, he began to show himself. But we don't know which side he's on and what his plan is. And what are your thoughts about this? The secret agent has his own side. He is not affiliated with any faction. He most likely will keep using all the sides as he wishes for his own goals. 
and we have no idea what these goals are, but I'm sure that from now on, we'll get to learn more about him over time. And I also think that he is on his side, and he helped the agents in toilets only for his own benefit. And I'm also sure that he worked together with the Skibidi scientist, since in the full version we heard what the secret agent said to the scientist. And from these words, it becomes clear that the Skibidi scientist used to work with a secret agent. And although the scientist spoke his own Skibidi language, the secret agent understood him perfectly. And the scientist said something like, we agreed with you about other conditions and now these agents are trying to kill me. And the secret agent at the end said, guess I can't be trusted. And he literally betrayed the Skibidi scientist and also killed the plunger man after he did all the dirty work. And maybe he will again help the agents to defeat the Astro Toilets. But in the end, he will also betray them. And it's even possible that the secret agent stole technology from the agents and then gave it to the scientist. And perhaps there is no traitor among the agents. And it was all done by a secret agent because he was on the side of the toilets. But I don't understand why he needed to work with toilets. Perhaps he didn't know any other way to destroy them and he decided to join them in order to later betray them and kill the scientist. If honestly everything is very confusing and we can come up with a billion theories, but it won't make sense until a few episodes are out. But I'm also interested in why the secret agent used this cameraman for his own purposes. He probably is slowly increasing his numbers because he knows that Astro Toilets will be meddling in his plans. And unlike the normal toilets, they seem a lot smarter and stronger, so he probably needs extra man force. Thus he is choosing agents that he either can easily manipulate or use, if you ask me. This makes sense, and he clearly creates his army of agents. And perhaps there are many such cameramen. And I think that the secret agent collected the dead or wounded bodies of agents and made his soldiers out of them. Because in episode 47, we saw how the secret agent approached the cameraman and did something with him. And he himself said that a more dangerous threat had appeared in the form of Astro Toilets. And this means that Astro Toilets are dangerous even for him and that he is not God. And he is also afraid for his life. And also in the new scene, I noticed one crazy detail and take a closer look at this gun. And this is exactly the gun the fake Skibidi scientist had in episode 67. And there was also number two, and I'm wondering about this. But what does that mean? And there are two options. The first option is that the secret agent stole technology from the cameraman and gave it to the scientist, since he used to be on the side of the toilets. And the second option is that among the cameramen there is a traitor, and perhaps it is this engineer. And who else but an engineer fits the role of a traitor? He has access to all technologies since he participates in their creation. And perhaps the cameramen realized that there was a traitor among them, and they hired a detective who must figure out which of them is a traitor. Also, thank you to all of you for telling me that we have already seen Cameraman in a red shirt in episode 31, and we also saw him in episode 34. And as I said before, I think he has his own role in this series, and he is special because there were almost no agents who could live as long as he did. So respect to him. But we still have one last and very important question. What will happen in the new episode? I honestly have no idea how the next episode will start. It could either be a very chill episode or a fight-oriented one, but the last episode really felt like a season finale, and Boom didn't give us any cliffhangers. It's also difficult for me to say how the new episode will begin, because episode 70 got its logical ending, but perhaps we will have to see another battle of Gmail against the Titans. Because before the agents entered the Skibidi Scientist, we heard that G-Man was still at the base, but perhaps a more chill episode awaits us, and we will see the Cameraman Laboratory and the Cameraman Detective, who will begin his investigation, and most likely this will be the case. And the new episode should come out faster than usual. And since five days have already passed since the release of the last episode, it is possible that today or tomorrow we will receive some leaks, and in two or three days, a new episode will be released. Anyway, if there is any news, I will definitely make a video about it. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and also subscribe to our guest. Hope you guys enjoyed the theories, Elite Cameraman out. And you were on the channel and see you.